welcome back to this youtube channel please if you are joining us for the first time make sure you subscribe to this youtube channel as we keep updating you on the wonders of casio calculator you know casio calculator is a good device that whoever has won shouldn't have problem in any of his or her examination so we are fully out to show you the secrets about casio calculator that you do not know in fact if i should disclose all the secrets in casio calculator to you I don't think your lecturer or your teacher out there will allow you go into the examination hall with Casio calculator. But then, to get all these secrets, make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel so that whenever we drop any of the secrets, you won't miss out. The problem we have for today it says find the dot product of the flowing vectors. Vector A is equal to 2i minus 5j plus 4k, while vector B is 3i minus 4j minus 2k. So we start by clearing our calculator. So we press shift button 9, 3 equal to then AC button. You go to mode. We are solving vector. So you select option number 8 by pressing button number 8. Now let's treat our vector A first. So option 1 is vector A. You select option 1 again because our vector has three values that is i, j, and k. Now, the first value, which is for i, is 2. You press 2, then equal to. You have the coefficient of j as minus 5. So, you have minus 5 equal to. And um, the coefficient of k is 4, then equal to. Press AC button, go back and start afresh. Um, select 8. You've selected vector a the first time. So, this second time now, you're going to talk about vector b. So, that is option number two and you select one also because you have i j and k then your first value is three equal to your second value is minus four equal to and lastly you have minus two equal to then your ac button to go back to your main menu so to solve now just press shift if you look above the key number five you see vector there so you press key number five now it's a letter a because the first value you install are the values of vector a so just a letter a, that is vector a you repeat the same process shift vector now you're solving dot pro dot and that dot pro dot is option seven so you select seven that is dot pro dot you go again shift vector b because what you're working with is vector a and vector b so this time around you have vector b which is option number four Finally, you have computed the dot product of vector A and B. So this sign at the middle shows that you are looking for the dot product. So you can go ahead to press your equal to and see what your answer is. Finally, you have your dot product as 18. You can try to solve this manually and you see that your answer will still be the same thing. So why bother yourself solving all these things when you have OBJ question to attend to? 